Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, seems like from one rumor to the next, we wasn't sure if we was ever going to get our hands on Lightroom 6. Well, it's finally arrived. Okay, it goes by two names now, uh, Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC. Now, what's the difference between the two? Well, Lightroom 6 is the base version, but Lightroom CC has a few uh, extra features, you know, small things, just to be used with the Lightroom app, you know, use for your iPad or whatnot. So, there's very minor details, but other than that, Lightroom 6 doesn't have any of the functions to sync with the mobile app, whereas Lightroom CC does. That's the only real difference between the two. Okay. Now, there's a lot of features been added to Lightroom 6 here. You got face detection, uh, HDR, panorama, uh, GPU acceleration, and maybe a few other minor things. But let's just be honest, there ain't but three real things most people are interested in. That's the panorama function, the HDR function, and how much better does the GPU acceleration really help boost uh, Lightroom 6? I have all those answers for you and more. So let's get in into this. Okay, first let's talk about the panorama function. The panorama function is almost the same as you'll find in Photoshop CC, with the exception of coilage and reposition. There are a few little minor tweaks, but for the most part, the panorama function is not bad. Uh, it has most everything that most uh, people will ever need for panoramas in, so it's added in the Lightroom to make things easier. The best part about this is it saves all your data. So there's no exporting to different file formats, saving back into uh, Lightroom, and losing any detail. Okay, everyone, let's talk about the HDR uh, function that's been added to Lightroom. Now, if anybody's ever used Photoshop and been highly disappointed at uh, HDR in, in Photoshop, expect to be even more disappointed from what Adobe's added to Lightroom. It is horrible. They've stripped it down. It's so simple that it actually has no real custom uh, customization to it. I have a lot of photos I've tested. Uh, a lot of them, you know, uh, five exposure photos from a uh, minus three EV to a plus three EV. When I run them through it, I don't seem to get any more dynamic range. It looks the same as the normal exposed photo. And w even sometimes when I've added the strong deghosting, uh, I seem to get a lot of color noise in the shadow areas so to me this is horrible it's not even useful you know how it doesn't even show to have more diamond range when i have a, a photos you know from a minus 3 ev to a plus 3 ev you know and i've tested this out on a number of different photos uh different groups of photos you now i've took for hdr and i've been, just been highly disappointed with it it is horrible I mean, it's actually not even useful. You can get more dynamic range just getting a normal exposed photo and dropping the uh, highlights and the shadows, you know, up and down to, you know, stretch your dynamic range out. And it looked better than what the HDR uh, function that's now in the Lightroom gives you. So that's the biggest things I don't like. Okay, everyone. So everyone wants to know is how much better the GPU acceleration really help Lightroom 6. Okay, I did a little benchmark, a little simple one, just exporting 25 files, all JPEG, all compressed down to 60%, and a width of 1920. Now, all these files are the same on both tests, and what I realized is when I exported the files through Lightroom 6, that they actually took 54.45 seconds to export the files. When I exported the same, file, uh, same files in Lightroom 5, it took 59.6 seconds. So really no difference in speed there. I think five seconds more on uh, 25 files isn't really huge there. Okay, my final conclusion is Lightroom 6 isn't a huge step above Lightroom 5. If you already have software that does panoramas for you or HDR uh, software, then Lightroom, going from Lightroom 5 to Lightroom 6 isn't a huge upgrade for you though if you got the creative cloud uh photo package then you're going to get it anyway so but if you're uh you still purchasing lightroom maybe if you're uh, still using lightroom 4 it might be an upgrade for you what i highly recommend is everybody just download the trial 30-day trial try it out for yourself see if you like it 
And that is my review of Lightroom 6, which is also Lightroom CC. Hope everybody liked this. If you do, hit the like button down the bottom. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take the time to subscribe. It's free. It's for you. Let you know when I release new videos. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.